Working out is a key part of many people's routines, but is there a link between exercise and hair loss? Let's talk about what happens to the body during exercise, whether these changes have an effect on hair, and what role pre- and post-workout nutrition might play. During exercise, the body produces more of two hormones, testosterone and cortisol. Testosterone helps break down carbohydrates and build muscle, while cortisol is a stress hormone that has effects on metabolism. Both these hormones can influence hair growth and hair loss if their levels are high and sustained. As you probably know, testosterone is converted by the body into dihydrotestosterone, or DHT. Elevated levels of DHT can cause hair follicles to go through a process called hair follicle miniaturization, which is responsible for pattern hair loss. Meanwhile, cortisol can interfere with the protein building blocks of hair and skin, leading to changes in texture and strength. Hair that's more brittle is more likely to fall out prematurely or break off. Here's the thing, most of the time with exercise, testosterone and cortisol levels peak quickly, usually within minutes of engaging in physical activity, and return to baseline levels within a matter of hours. What does this mean for your hair? Essentially, that exercise doesn't create hormonal changes that last long enough to have a significant impact on hair quality or the progression of pattern hair loss. In fact, you're probably doing your hair and scalp more good than harm by boosting circulation and fueling your body properly. While we're on the topic of fuel, do pre- and post-workout supplements cause hair loss? Creatine is one of the most popular and common ingredients in these products. There's only one real study that's linked creatine supplementation to elevated DHT levels. Researchers noted an increase in DHT levels over a period of two weeks, but the athletes enrolled in the study were also taking much more creatine than the average person would. Also remember that just because DHT levels increase does not mean you'll lose your hair. You have to look at family history and genetics too. So go ahead, get that workout in. Your hair and body will thank you. We've got lots more content on hair loss and men's health coming, so be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and sign up for our newsletter so that you don't miss anything.